Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Benny Don Crazy Marcus here with another brilliant video. So, one of the main questions I get asked quite frequently is why did I move to Benny Don? So today is going to basically be a video of some of the many reasons that I moved to Benetton. I mean, of course, for a start, as you can see, the um, main reason, the very, very, very obvious reason, the weather. I mean, 27th of December, blue skies, not a cloud anywhere to be seen. Quite a nice day. Second reason is, of course, just the sort of calmness there is. Uh, at the moment, we're in the Plaza de Triangle, everyone. Yeah, it is rather got calm on I mean, still got the Christmas decades up. Because, of course, the Three Kings coming up in January. I mean, just beautiful orange tree there. Tons of trees in the background. Cafes as well. So, kind of sort of ask. Scoot a see why she moved to Benidorm. The weather, the freedom, the fact that I don't have to rely on people if I want to go out. Health reasons, so much better here. Diets are better, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. Thank you, Sue. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute at our next destination on this tour of why I moved okay, to so Benetton. One of the other reasons why I live in Benetton is the fact that if it's a bit cold, if it's raining, there's still stuff to do as you see behind me. Got the okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Marcus, UK has arcades as well. The UK only really seems to have arcades in your sort of seaside resorts. Blackpool, for example, I mean, Blackpool, it is quite a long strip of different arcades. Some open, some shut. But, I mean, say you live where we used to live in Cumbria, but you're not really wanting to go on a trip all the way down to Blackpool to go to an arcade because it's raining and there's nothing else to do, guys. I mean, you may decide to stay inside and watch telly, but a bit boring, isn't it? This arcade's open pretty much every day, all day, to be quite honest. And it is a good place to just go kill a bit of time, have a bit of fun. Also, the fairground on the side as well, if you hear with smaller kids. Then as I take a sort of further walk down the med, of course we do have Dio's own bowling alley. Now, um, course we did have one where we used to live down in Work Kitten, but sad news is I think that's something that's long gone. Um, something I did notice last time I was in Cumbria is sort of your high streets and local towns just they were slowly depriving you were slowly seeing more and more 
shops, restaurants and pubs just shut. So there ain't really much to do for the younger generation. Whereas here in Benidorm, there's a fair bit to do. I mean, lots of young kids will get together with their friends and go out for a walk. Whereas back in the UK when kids get together to hang out, it quite often leads to unprecedented chaos. I mean, I thought I'd know about that because quite often we were the victims of one of their favourite games, Knock and Run. So, yeah, main reason we sort of left the UK and moved there is just because of the calmness, the fast activities, and the fact that the younger generation of Benidorm are a lot kinder and have a lot more respect. I'll see you in the so next the location. Next reason is one of the pretty obvious reasons I moved to Benidorm, the beach, I mean. When I say that Spanish beaches are some of the best beaches here in the world, I mean it, I mean. You've got a library just there on the beach where you can just sit and read, have a game of chess with your mates. And of course, further down is the player the accessibilities, which I mean, is a bonus because if you are in a wheelchair or on a scooter, it is an accessible area for you to sit. Plus, they have the added extra of the um, beach friendly wheelchair, shall we call it? Not the wheelchair that they do use to take you into the water. So, I mean, it's sort of Going back to what Sue said, you got a lot of freedom here as well if you went to enjoy the beach. Like, the beach is not just limited to those who can walk and have no disability sort of thing. It is basically here for everyone to enjoy. And it's an absolutely gorgeous beach. I can't even see anything. Peacock Island in the distance and, of course, somewhere out there, if it's on camera, is one of the many boat trips you can get here in Benidorm. OK, guys, I'll see you in the next location. Okay, so one of the things that does quite often annoy some of the expats here in Benidorm, including me, to be honest, is those of you who make assumptions about Benidorm. Um, and to be honest, it is quite fair. Many of you do tend to think Benidorm is for the younger generation, for the party goers, alcoholics, and those of you who like to do the drugs. And quite often, people even say Benidorm is quite a dangerous area. Um, not wanting to lie, not wanting to beat around the bush, I will say that is Benny don't strip about 50% of the time, guys. But, of course, there are the beauty areas of Benny Dom, the viewpoints, the areas where it's calm, peaceful, tranquil, and you've got the beautiful views. For example, up here at... The Castel de Benidorm. Just hang on, Dave. I'll go do a quick film and then I'll. 
So, of course, guys, so there's some history behind the castle. You can put it on pause if you want to read the orange in the Benny Tom. The castle is historically what was once actually a castle, a fortress, as so to speak, used to protect the old fishing town of Benidorm from enemy attack. That, of course, is the main area of the castell, of course. Got the church bells as well from the beautiful church, the St. Jamie. The main reason people do visit the castell is for the picturesque views all across Benidorm. On the right hand side you have picturesque views of all Poniente Beach and right down towards the colour heading further sort of into the castell you do come across the old well A local guitar player there. And some of the local ruins of the original castle. And finally, just come around here. I would highly recommend not sort of sitting on the railings for pictures because there have been quite a few accidents over the years up here with people actually leaning a bit too far over the railings and falling to their deaths. I know it sounds a bit gruesome, however, the most recent sort of incident of that occurring, there were quite a big sort of rescue operation take place. Finally, some more of the remains of what left of the original castell. Show you the bit that behind me as well. That was used in a fair few famous scenes on Benny Tom, of course, where Jeff had his first date with Leslie. One of the most sort of known scenes of Benny Tom. And coming over to the left hand side of the castle, views over, of course. The Fancy Beach and the Rincon, and of course, with another very beautiful viewpoint at the very end of the Fancy Beach, also known as the Benidorm Cross. That is one of the many viewpoints where people do go to scatter loved ones' ashes. When they coming back down the steps, you do have a nice, beautiful cocktail bar just in front and hotel boutique for the Vanessa. Okay, I'll finish it off here and I'll see you all in the next location. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching today's video. That's just some of the reasons that I made to Benidorm, I mean, to be fair, I could stand there and list them up all day, I mean, 
as of such that survivor the health the lifestyle they for not me. Over here it's a lot calmer, you're not really in a rush to do stuff, you're just a lot more relaxed, a lot more positive. There's also the fact that everybody around you here in Benidorm, they are quite literally either your best friend or just a friend you haven't met yet, guys. That is how nice the people are here in Benidorm. I mean, as I mentioned before, our next door neighbour, like, so far since we've been in the apartment, We've had about three homemade cakes from her. No reason whatsoever other than not we're friends. That makes sense, does it? We don't speak Spanish. They don't speak much English, but we get by. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like, smash subscribe, and that's been... Some of the reasons why I moved to Benito. See you soon.